when I came in last year, Peter, I think I mentioned to you right away, is I was just sort of thrilled by the energy of the designers' meetings, where I was expecting something that would be much more in the tradition of, okay, we're starting with something that's kind of locked. You know, we're going mm -hmm. to work around this, and everything is so open to discussion. What have, I assume that with his previous shows that haven't been so dramatically inclined, that have been more rooted in choreography, that there's a somewhat, there's somewhat more limitations like imposed on those designer meetings. What, or ha, is that consistent with all his previous Well, movies? no, because if you watch, and uh, if you view some of the recent work, it's just as visceral as this is, and theatrical in the same way. But um, touring has a different set of rules about it, and, and one has to consider that in the touring dance company is different from doing a, a large commercial production that sits somewhere. So those differences make your choices actually more specific and you have to actually work uh, more diligently. Here we have, you know, I have a, a palette. I have lots of palette of ideas and things to work with and I can easily turn things on and off. I can change things. We can move, and there's a, there's a large, you know, um, system to make things happen. We have plenty of time. In the, in the dance world, you, you don't. We, and therefore it has to be manageable and, and not so much small enough, but manageable enough to, to be much clearer. So your, your work has to be much more um, defined in that regard, but still has the freedom. We still, even with uh, the company work, the dance company work, we take a week in a theater and we put it together just for us and we have the time because everyone in the room, just like Peter was saying, in the room makes all the difference. You can think about it all you want, you can show models, you can show pictures, but in the end, it's what's happening moment to moment that's, that makes all the difference. Yeah, I think what's exciting here is breaking apart what is a more formalized theater experience into something that is somewhere a hybrid between um, the process of making a dance piece. I mean, the thing about a dance piece is there is no script. And in fact, dancers are much more, I think they're trained to be much more flexible in mm -hmm. terms of, I mean, I remember on Blind Date, it was three, three days before the opening of Blind Date, and we decided to take a third of Act One and move it into Act Two, um, and completely reach, rearrange the order of the show. Uh, you, you would really pretty much never conceive of a change of that scale. Um, that in close a, to an opening that close to in an the opening theater. In the theater. And I think that you know, that's, that's the excitement here, is we're sort of bringing as much of that energy as is feasible into this process. But I think actually in some ways this is more sharply defined, this is more rigid than working um, on, a, on a, a purely dance piece um, because of the amount of systems involved, that there's actually so much, a good chunk of spoken text, the number of people involved, and things like that. But, but I, again, I think what's exciting is we're bringing as much of that sort of variability and responsiveness as we can into the room. Mm -hmm. um, I think you basically absorbed every question that I had floating around in my head in your earlier <laughs> iteration of this. I'll just ask as one sort of right. closing thing, and you've already touched upon this and I think delivered on this, but um, what, you know, for an audience, what makes Bela, the production, exciting? What, what is different about this in terms of other offerings that are out there on Off-Broadway right now? Like, well, he was an, an incredible musician and performer. Uh, it, he was just so alive. I find that the music is so alive, you just, you can't sit down, and you just want to get up and, and dance. And, and, the diffi you know, and, and how he turned that into, and how difficult his life was, and how he really tried to make change in this country, and how uh, it, it, he never quite got there because of the oppressive governments, but, but that he felt the need to, that, that through music, the power of that right. was very, for me, it's very, it's very compelling. Yeah, I think it's, it's it, there are some formal things that are different, but I think that the thing that guides all of us. And I think that the gui thing that guides some of um, our desire to approach this in a somewhat different way than, a, than a, your average musical is, is who Fela was. I mean, there's a, his sort of, sort of one of his landmark taglines is music is a weapon. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what's so amazing is that he was fighting so hard for so much he believed in and having such a good time doing it. Like, you know, his idea of a political protest was a great big party. And I think that's what's sort of exciting is seeing someone who is so passionate. And that's, I think, what we're trying to bring in the door is that same liveliness. There are very serious issues in this piece, but we've absolutely failed if everyone isn't leaving with a smile on their face, having had a great time, 
Um, and the song stuck in their head for the next, you know, six months, we hope. Uh, and I think that there we're really following Fela's lead. Like, he sets the tune um, mm -hmm. in, in the way he approached life and the way he approached uh, the things he believed in. And it's, it's up to us to live up to that, I think. That was such a good ending that I don't know why I'm ruining it by asking one more question. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, no. <laughs> Go ahead. But what, what sort of puts the, what, what puts the Bill T. Jones imprint on this production? Is there? Hmm. Uh, how much, um, how much dance actually is expressive in telling the story in a completely nonverbal way? You know, this, the piece has got a lot of dance in it. Um, unlike a, maybe a real fella concert, which would have some dance in it, but not to the extent that we see here, and it's you know, a lot of style and vocabulary in the dance. Um, Bill's seriousness about um, having, it, having the, the, real, the other issues that drove fella and his music to be apparent, like the, the serious side, but at the same time, um, the, 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 the joy of, of living, of, of experiencing life to the fullest, I would say. Come and see the show. It's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, he said it all. <laughs>